What up, folks? It's your boy Dash back again with another word of the day. Back again with Squeak. Say hey, Squeak. But yes, I'm in my room. I'm not in my normal place, of, but it's all good. It's all good. Today's word is, you know, one of those words that I think explains a lot, but more than one different point. Let me move my hand off the mic. One more than one different point, you know, because this word, it feels like it's uh one of those happy words, but we'll see. We'll see. But that word today is comfortable. Mm. Am I, I'm, hold on, wait. Let me move this camera so can... All right, that's much better. Comfortable. Today's word is comfortable. I got you still, Squeak. I got you. Today's word is comfortable. You know, and the word comfortable says a lot. I feel like people want to be comfortable, but what kind of comfortable do you want to be is the question. Anyway, first and foremost, three points always. That's what we do. So, understand the world that we live in, y'all. Understand the world that we live in. And in the world that we live in, it's quick. You just gonna you just gonna interrupt me? Hmm? You just gonna keep on just huh? That's what we doing anyway. Following Christ in this world ain't comfortable. Hmm. Why do you why why why, why do I say that? Why do I say that? Okay. Deuteronomy thirty one six says, "Be strong and be brave. Don't be afraid of those people because the Lord your God is with you. He will not fail you or leave you." Now it says, "Do not be afraid of those people." Why? Why does he say, do not be afraid of those people? Because those people are of the world. And following Christ in this world, you will... Squeak. What? What? What is it? You will be persecuted. You will be indeed persecuted. Therefore, it's not comfortable. Listen, the majority of this world is wicked. So if you're not of this world... That you will be persecuted. They persecuted Jesus. That's the reason why he died because he wasn't of this world, and we aren't either. Psalms thirty four eight says, "The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit." Does that sound comfortable to be brokenhearted and crushed in the spirit? In spirit, no, it doesn't. But that's when God works His magic. When you're at your lowest is when He's at His strongest. Therefore, following Christ on this earth, in this world, it ain't comfortable. And if it is comfortable for you, then you're not you're not following Christ. I'm just saying. I'm I'm making I'm being honest. Isn't you you're not. Squeak, squeak. What's up? Try to get you to talk earlier. You ain't say a word. But even though following Christ in this world isn't comfortable, God can make God makes you comfortable in pain. God makes you comfortable in pain. Stop, girl. First Peter 5.10 says, And the God of all grace, grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Huh. After suffering... You heard the song, Weeping May Endure Through the Night, but Joy Comes in the Morning. That is how God does it. After you suffer and you plead to him and you pray to him and you pray to him and let him know that you believe that he is capable of solving every single problem that you have. That's what he does. He solves it. Psalms 23, 4 says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. Squeak. For you are with me. Your, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comfort in pain. Walking through the darkest valleys. Fear no evil because God is with you and he's with you with his comfort. With the Holy Spirit that will bring you peace in whatever you're in. You got something you want to say now? See, when I'm looking for you to say something, you're quiet. But when I'm talking, you got everything to say. Squeak. See, she won't be all shy now. But yes, yes, he will make you comfortable in that pain and... The the scripture, as I said earlier, the scripture says, in your weakness, he is made strong. That's what his strength is made perfect when you're weak. Therefore, when you are at your low, that comfort, he's waiting to bring, he's wa- that's the moment he's waiting for, for you to, he's waiting for you to be able to accept the comfort because when you have nowhere else to turn, you're done trying to do it yourself. 
you're done trying to fight against uh, uh, his word, you're done trying to fight against him, and you realize, dang, I really don't have anything else, or any other route to take. That's when he said, oh, okay. All you got to do is talk to me. I'm here. I got you. But you have to you have to make yourself open to it. Girl, what? It, what? Girl? Have to make yourself open to it. But moving on, you are only you'll only be as comfortable as your relationship with God allows. Mm, that's a bar, y'all. Psalms 55 22 says, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Now, why did I use this scripture for this point? He will never let the righteous be shaken. And how do you gain righteousness through your relationship with God? The be- the more that you talk to God, the more that you spend time with God, the more that you spend time in prayer, the more you spend time in worship, that righteousness, it'll be a change that you can't deny. I'm not even telling you that you have to like actually put effort into changing. Once you spend more time with him, it's just going to change from the inside out. It's just going to change. And you won't even know that it's changed until you... You'll, obviously, you're going to feel different, but you won't even know that it's changed until you you come across people who uh, who knew you before. I swear, people have told me before on numerous occasions, like, man, I don't even know who you are because they've never seen. See, see, now, now you want to talk? Hmm? What you want to say? Oh, put the camera on and she quiet, right? You see? You see what I'm talking about? Come on now, Squeak. But anyway, it's like this. It's like this. The more that you put your efforts into following God, the more righteous you become. The more righteous you become, then that righteousness and that relationship with God, it brings peace. It brings peace in the middle of turmoil. Galatians 5.16 says, So I tell you, live the way the Spirit leads you. Then you will not do the evil things your sinful self wants. Come on now, that's pretty self-explanatory. The more that you build this relationship, like I said, this change is just going to happen. It's just going to happen. And most of... What's up? What's up? Hmm? Hmm? What's the problem, Squeak? Huh? Say hi, Squeak. Since you got some, no, don't look at me now. What's up? Oh, pump faking. But like I said, the more that you spend that time, the more that you work on that relationship, the more that you build it, then it, it you're just gonna change and it's gonna remove you from all of those evil things. And that is where the discomfort usually comes from. Things resulting from that 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 sinful way that you were used to living. When I tell you, comfortable is. Comfortable is just a word. If you, hmm, hmm, oh, comfortable is just a word. If you're not following God, comfortable is just a word. If you're not following God, I don't care how comfortable you think you feel. See, because wherever you feel comfortable, you're gonna be lacking somewhere else. A hundred percent, a hundred percent is not a question. It's it, it is so, it is so so. Move forward in building your relationship with God and that comfort will come to you. And it'll be a different type of comfort, the type of comfort that you never felt. I mean, I mean I've mean, i been able to remain at peace through some crazy stuff by way of following God. I'm telling you, it's not a bad idea. Dash out. Love y'all. Get comfortable with Christ. Say bye, Squeak. <laughs>